Ong Myon Chet is Myanmar's most dedicated elephant conservationist, so he's an old friend to the country's most famous elephant, Momo. Coming October 18, she will be a 65. Momo's been at the zoo so long, she's learned how to escape, but chooses not to. There are around 6,000 captive elephants in Myanmar, many of them working in the timber industry. In the wild, elephants are endangered, with only around 2,000 left. So when Ong Myon Chet heard of a poaching incident a few hours' drive from Yangon, he raced there to find out what had happened. What he found was stomach churning. Even you walk by around a mile south of the carcass, you can smell the very awful smell. You will never forget once you have it. Not just one, but a whole family of elephants had been killed and stripped of their skin. It was an elephant massacre. And the skin, every part of the body, the whole river was filled with blood. Ong Myo Chit sent these photos to another elephant specialist who'd just arrived in Myanmar. I find it really hard to talk about these things. So. No, please, take, take some time. And uh, for me, that was like kind of my defining moment in Myanmar. I had just been in the country about four or five months and um, I said, uh, no, if you are here and we don't react to this situation, then there is no reason for our existence. The World Wildlife Fund began investigating markets along the Myanmar-China border. And then we started discovering this trade for elephant skin is just skyrocketed. 90% of the consumers are Chinese. The dried elephant hide is ground into powder and sold as a skin product or for stomach aches. The poachers use poisoned arrows in homemade guns to shoot the elephant. It's a slow, excruciating death. After two, three days later, the poison is spread the whole body. The skin, every inch of the skin has a poison. Ong Myon Chit says it's ironic that so-called medicinal products made from powdered elephant skin actually contain the poison that killed the animal. But there is another product. These beads, made from the layer of hardened fat beneath the elephant's skin. This is not a traditional Chinese product. It was invented in 2014 by an online wildlife trader known as Jazz. The blood of the dying animal creates the red colour. That's why they tried to skin the elephant as soon as it fell down, because after you wait for one or, one or two days, it will drop the colour because the, 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 the concentration of blood will reduce. One female elephant was skinned before she died. The poaching of female elephants and even their calves is a worrying new trend. Usually elephants are poached for their tusks and that's only the males. Now nothing was safe. Basically, any elephant, living elephant in the wild was fair game. And that would mean basically the population could go extinct very fast if it was not checked. While most of the poachers and traders are believed to be Chinese, locals do get involved in butchering the elephant, drying the skin and transporting the illegal product. We're about three hours northwest of Yangon. We've come as far as we can by car and we've switched to motorbikes. We're heading to a cluster of villages that's become a hotspot for elephant killings. We visit a couple who were out harvesting bamboo recently and decided to take an alternative path back to their village. As we returned from the jungle, we saw something near the road and it was an elephant. My husband said it doesn't have any skin at all, only the bloody body. So we came back and reported it to the village chief. Several villagers were arrested and remain in jail awaiting trial. From villages like this in Myanmar, much of the product goes straight to China, but some is smuggled through Thailand and Laos. Here in the Thai capital of Bangkok, Dr. Kanita Uitavon is leading the forensic investigation, trying to understand the poacher's business. 
Here, staff are testing seized products to see if the DNA matches Thailand's database of domestic elephants. So if it is not, not, not match uh, for the, our database, it means that it is uh, taken from the wild. It's a wild elephant. This sample here is particularly sad. It brings home the reality of the poaching. This was the trunk of an elephant. You can see the bristly hair on the surface there. And here, where the skin has rubbed away, that's the layer of fat that's so sought after for carving into jewelry that's purchased in China. Orphaned elephants end up here at the Wingabao Sanctuary where they're lovingly raised by humans. <laughs> Older elephants are allowed day trips to roam in a nearby forest, returning at night to the protection of the sanctuary. In the wild, it's harder to keep the elephants safe. By putting GPS collars on wild elephants, rangers can know where they need to patrol and can also quickly detect if a collared elephant has been killed. Before we started, we were losing roughly one elephant a week. Now it's about one to two elephants a month. Ultimate aim is by, by another year or so, we should get down to almost zero number of elephants being poached. The stakes are high for Myanmar's elephants. The new skin trade is so serious that if it's left unchecked, Myanmar's elephants could disappear by 2030. Oh, there, 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 there. You can see it. I want to be able to look at my children and say that I did everything I could to keep them alive. And I keep telling my team, as long as our heart is beating, we have to believe we can win. Thank you, buddy. 